Fucking love the music. Like, um, it has become easily, like, in the, the top. Um, easily in, the, in my top uh, JRPG soundtracks of all time. And that's quite a high bar to clear. Like, JRPGs have some of the, the best fantasy music, I think. Of most games. Okay, so um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome back um, to some Octopath. Uh, we have uh, the Path team today. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Um, we've got Primrose, Alfin, uh, Therian, and Hannah. Yo, Excel, how you doing? Um, and what we're doing today uh, is we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish. Alfin's story. Um, I've just finished Primrose's. In fact, I've done um, Ulberic, Cyrus, Terrian, uh, Ophelia, and Primrose. And now I'm gonna do Alfin's story because, uh, and I'm gonna stream it this time. I know, I know I've been streaming Brave the Default 2, and I'm going back to that. I'm still still grinding my way through. I've finished freelancer levels, and I've uh, grinded everyone else's jobs up to level six. Um, but uh, before that, I figured um, I'd show you uh, Alfin's. Alfin's story because everybody, y'all, y'all seem to seem to be enjoying that. You seem to like that, so um, that's what we're doing today. Uh, you, uh, it sounds sounds like uh, you'll be waiting for a while. Yeah, it's true. I'm still waiting on my Call of Cthulhu rule books. They've been dispatched, but they haven't got here. I was really hoping they'd get here for the earlier one shot today, but they didn't, and I'm sad. Okay, so Primrose has learned all our skills. Uh, Alfin's learned all his skills. Therian's learned all his skills, and. Uh, Hanit has almost learnt Brand's Thunder. Um, we just need to get her a few more job points, um, but that that we're not going to be bothering like directly to do that. Like we're going to have to do, and we're going to have to do a few random encounters uh, on the way to Orwell, um, which is where we're going, uh, all the way over here on the map. Um, but uh, as we do that, uh, we're going to be going from. Uh, uh, we'll probably go from Riverford, uh, River Riverford all the way to Orwell, because uh, that's a higher level area that'll get us higher levels. Um, so we'll be going through uh, the North Riverford Traverse, South Orwell Pass to Orwell. Um, okay, uh, Riverford was um, uh, the end of Ulbrich's story, uh, where he goes up against Werner. Um, uh, I, I don't I don't disagree, XL. Um, that'd be good. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I think the Pathfinder Second Edition rulebooks are pretty well formatted, but there's definitely a few areas where they could improve for sure. Hmm. Okay. Um. What was I going to do? Okay, everyone's pretty much at the required level aside from Hannet, and Hannet will probably gain a level in the process. Um, we got some new equipment. I don't know if... No, I don't think we need to change anybody's loadout currently. Yeah, everyone's looking okay. Um, so, uh, let's go. Maybe we need to go to the inn. Yeah, it, it gets simpler when you remember that it is just level plus a mod dependent on the, the proficiency plus your ability score, plus any incidentals, but there aren't there aren't that many incidentals in, in Pathfinder 2 e like sort of deliberately. Pardon me. Um but uh sometimes it's a bit of a pain to remember it. Um we don't really need to level up that much, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap on evasive maneuvers if I don't already have it active. We don't need we don't need that many random encounters on the way. Uh, oh oh fuck! Uh, actually, before we go, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, Primrose to borrow <laughs> borrow one of these lovely people 
Uh, and by borrow, I mean allure one of these lovely people so we have a follower as well. Because why not? Okay, we don't need any medium healing grapes. What are these guards like, strength wise? Strength six is decent. Oh, no, no, you don't want to come with me? All right, can we, can we, uh, 54%. Oh gosh, this is going to take a while. There we go. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to leave my post for a little while. Okay, cool. So we got a guard. I'm going to quickly have a look around all well, just see if there's anybody better. Um, no, your strength three. Uh, your strength six as well, but you got a lower chance of alluring. You're a side quest. Oh, you got a light spell. That's unusual. Uh, let's have a look. Strength six with a poison slash. I'm really looking for like strength seven or eight. That would be the ideal. But you, oh, we can't, we can't allure you. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. It does create impressive numbers. That that is true. I mean, that's that's always kind of Pathfinder's thing has been um, uh, big numbers. Ooh, oh, this is the elderly woman. Yeah, I've used her before. She's good. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We 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 want you. Um, admit it now. Wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? No, no, don't don't refuse. You're great. We've worked together before. You remember me, old woman? You you fought Werner with me. Lovely movements. You remind me of me at your age. There we go. Okay, cool. We we've got a good enough follower. All right, let's let's go. Um, let's go finish Alfin's story. Alrighty. Ooh, there's another. Is this another side quest? I don't think I've got this one. Fair and well. I'm a farmer by trade, but treasure hunting's my passion. My latest undertakings are search for the lost loot of House Landar. The Landars were highborn folk of this town, and they were famed for hoarding treasure. Oh, I think I think I can just complete this one right now. Um, finding their hidden loot will be my ticket into the exclusive exclusive league of gentlemen discoverers. Uh, yeah, House Landar records. Yeah, we've already got that. Um, here we go. This, this notebook belonged to the Landar family. It did. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, here, a secret hiding place. That must be where the treasure lies. So I was right all along. I tell near everyone I meet that I'll be a great treasure hunter. Most folk laugh and say, uh, stop the idle dreaming and live in the real world. Well, this will show them. This will show them all. But being a treasure hunter is all about dreaming. It's in the nature of the trade. Mayhap, it was just a childish fantasy. I'd be done better to forget than I grew to be a man. I don't see how I could. Might as well tell a man to stop loving. Stop loving. Stop living. Stop learning. Today's the day I leave farming behind and become the treasure hunter I was meant to be. Ah, and it's all thanks to you. We'll meet again, friend, out there on the winding roads. Hey! Uh, what's, what's worth remembering, XL, is that the enemy numbers can scale almost just as easily. Uh, so, they, it, it sometimes I, I get a little frustrated with Pathfinder's big numbers, and indeed big numbers in RPGs in general, um, because big numbers are meaningful if... Um, uh, they significantly outscale other things, but when they're big numbers and the enemies have big numbers and everything has big numbers Then relatively speaking the big numbers just make everything a little bit more complicated uh, They don't end up like sort of adding very much which is a pity um, There are definitely ways and ways to make big numbers feel meaningful and Pathfinder mostly succeeds at that but uh, something I have been noticing about 2E is sometimes it just kind of has big numbers for the sake of having big numbers and you're just kind of like why why do you why are these numbers so large why why are they such a pain to sort of deal with they, they could have just been smaller 
Oh wow, we got through the Riverford Traverse without even a single random encounter. Amazing. Right, onwards to Orwell. Where are, where are we going from here? Orwell to the left. Okay. Save at save point. They reduced the arithmetic to cut difficulty, but it turned into summation creep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of. That's... Definitely a thing. Oh, wow. That was a quick journey to Orwell. I was expecting at least one random encounter. Oh, well. Uh, I guess we'll level Hannah in uh, whatever the dungeon for this uh, chapter is. That's right. I had business here. Okay, here we go. Alfin's chapter four. Uh, Alfin. Uh, your journey as an apothecary has carried you to Orwell. Uh, your confidence shaken. You pray that this is where you will find the answer you answers you seek. What a good boy. Two D twenty is interesting. I, I still I know I know you've recommended a couple of systems that have two D twenty. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to try them one of these days. <laughs> and I I very much liked um. I've liked the Edge of the Empire style of dice and stuff. Um, that was very interesting as well. I've been doing quite a lot of thinking about systems recently. Um, and I've been wondering about different types of dice systems and different types of randomizations and stuff. Um, the story so far. In Saintsbridge, Alfin used his talents to save the life of a thief named Miguel. But as soon as the man could walk again, he kidnapped and wounded an innocent boy. Was Alfin wrong to believe what he believed? Was... Uh, Ogan Wright, are some lives truly not worth saving? Alfin looked to the sky. Tell me, what would you have done? There were no answers to be found. And so with self-doubt festering in his heart, Alfin arrived in the town of Orwell. Poor guy. You know, I... I've come all this way, and I feel like I've found more questions than answers. You still up there listening? Still no sound from me, huh? Hmm. I better snap out of it before a wrong step puts me at the bottom of this canyon. Oof. Alfin, my dude. It's not that bad, don't worry. Out of there, why so glum? Truth is... Oh, woe is me. Me poor wife and kids are fine for their lives. Why did this damn plague have to come to our poor village? Haven't we suffered enough? I feel like at this point, Alfin is like a plague magnet. Do you think he's actually carrying these plagues? Literally every town he walks into has a plague happening when he gets there because he's an apothecary and of course he has to solve the plagues. But every time, <laughs> every single time, uh, he's either really unlucky or he's he's somehow like carrying the plagues with him. That satchel of yours, I don't reckon you're an apothecary. <laughs> Reckon I am. Plague you speak of is what brought me here. Oh. Thank the heavens. For once the gods smile upon us. Let's go. Just show me to my patients. I'll do, well, I'll do the best I can. Fair and well. Oh, thank you. Play, pray, follow me. Huh? Beg pardon if I'm just imagining things, friend, but is something the matter? You're looking awful glum yourself. Hmm? Oh, 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 it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now, we should hurry. Yikes. I can't let him see me brooding. Anyway, I have a job to do. Brewing poultices. Yeah. Of... Just look at them all. I'm coming in. <gasps> it's him. The hell's? Wait, that's. Hogan. Excuse me. 
Before I begin the treatment, I would know a few things about you. That'll do. Sorry to pry. Now let's see what I can do about your cough. Oh, thank you, Mr. Uh... The name's Ogan. I'm a traveling apothecary of, thought, of sorts. A little bird told me your village was in rough shape, so here I am. Ooh. Not one, but two apothecaries come to our humble home. <laughs> Mayhap the flame shines bright upon us yet. How can we ever repay you? I'll be on my way. Think nothing of. Forgive me. Hmm. Be fall over then. Well. Thought your hands were steadier than that old man. Howdy. We keep meeting, eh? You. Again. Figured you'd given up and gone home already. But it seems you're made of stronger stuff than that. <laughs> Damn right I am. Take away my medicine and dogged grit, and there'll be nothing left, save for a love for a good drink. <laughs> you say so. Mind if we shoot the breeze? Anyhow, with what with all the patients needing tending, it is good to have you around. I'll say we team up, eh? Uh, two sets of hands are better than one. I think not. Thanks, but no thanks. I always work alone. I work alone! <laughs> <sighs> How did I know you'd say that? As you like, then. I'll do the same. You. That takes care. That takes care of everyone. One of these days, I'll try one of those systems, Exo. I swear. And I dare say I've worked up quite a thirst. Think I'll hit the tavern. See you around, Ogan. Maybe I'll try two D twenty in uh, some of my homebrew. Hmm. Hmm. That fellow gave you some medicine just now, yes? <laughs> Thanks be to the flame, he most certainly did. Let me see it. It'll only take a moment. Hmm. Oh, that house looks lovely. Prime real estate. <laughs> Yeah, I might try Dune. Dune could be quite an interesting setting to run. I haven't, I haven't really done anything with that setting for a while. Ooh, soothing dust. Fire in some people. Uh, age 66, this pain in my head, this constant ringing in my ears. Gods, it never ends. It's enough to drive me mad. Oh dear. So cold, like I'm naked in the middle of a blizzard. No matter how much I bundle up, this chill won't go away. My body aches all over. Even a little bit of moving is too much to bear. Just shifting in bed is agony. I thought I told you to leave me be. So hot, so hot. My fever won't break. Throat is terribly sore. Just drinking water is agony, like trying to swallow warm coals. Oof. Can't inquire anything of them. Weird. But we can talk to them? I can't thank you enough for coming all this way. Yeah. Ooh, weird. Can't stop. Can't stop coughing. Taste blood, hard to breathe. Hurts too much to sleep. Many. <laughs> it's like I feel much better, and you're like, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you do, buddy. I don't know. Ooh, chest. A whole scrap of rope. Amazing. Greetings. 
uh, oblivious townsperson. A bloke calling himself Cervantes just came by, clad head to toe in the finest mail. Oh, uh, that's another side quest. What was he up to, you reckon? Okay. Everyone knows Conan Trekantino, that's true. That's true. Uh, this man claims to often bear witness to incredible sights. A dragon sauntering through a town square, a deity manifesting to cavort with mortals and so forth. No one is certain whether or not he is mad or daft, but given his confusion when challenged, at the very least he seems to be sincere. <laughs> okay. An item? Cool. Oh, it's her! Hello there! I am Kaya, the girl with the dragon egg. You've been ever so helpful. I came to this village to look to Blaze so I th might hatch the egg, except... Da -da -da, the dragon egg's been stolen! Oh, shit. Shit, lady, you can't just let people steal that. The man who took it said to meet him in the Dragon Song Fane if I wanted it back. That hardly sounds safe, does it? I don't know what to do. Okay, cool. Well, we're not gonna do her right. We're not gonna do her side quest right now. Um, Edge of the Empire, uh, or, or Age of Rebellion, or um, Age of Destiny, or something. Um, a young girl on a journey to hatch an egg. Oh my god, she's twelve! Fucking hell. Okay. All right. Well, we can <laughs> make sure we don't don't lose her then. Jesus, I didn't realize she was twelve. Christ. Uh, she claims the dragon appeared in her dream and trusted it to her. Sadly, the egg has been stolen. No. Oh no! They're also going to steal her things. <laughs> but, you know, because we're the good guys... Oh, nope. Well, <laughs> she noticed. Shit. Um... Don't mind us stealing your things. Um, and then giving them to people who are wearing a load of evasive stuff. Uh, which is nobody. Okay. <laughs> oh, I guess we could give it to Hannah, but... Still don't need a rest. Ooh. Spiriting Plum Medium. Nice. Hello. Truth is... Was over a decade now. Me and my son quarrelled and he left in a huff. Said he wanted to be a knight. Imagine, of course I told him what I thought of that. I also told him he was a lily-livered ass who'd amount to nothing. Nothing! Truth be told, I regret that. It was wrong of me and all I want is for my son to come home again. But the time for that's long gone and I suppose I'll have to sleep in the bed what I made. Oh, oh well maybe we can find a son. A woman of Orwell who lives alone. Her husband died young, leaving her to raise their son by herself. However, after a heated argument, the youth stormed off, never to return. Even now, more than a decade later, she sometimes finds herself staring at the front door he slammed shut behind. Oof. Oof, that's a bit too real. Jeez. Uh, we're also going to casually steal her stuff, but don't worry about that. Truth is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've already got your side quest. Okay. Uh, anything interesting to buy? Yeah, Edge plays the solo film, Destiny plays like Star Wars, Jedi's uh, Rebels, Temple, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, honestly, that that all seems pretty accurate, honestly. <laughs> uh, adamantine Hatchet is pretty good, but we have better axes, I think, at the moment. Don't need an Adamantine Shield, we've already got plenty of Silent Capes. I'm gonna buy uh, a load of Healing Grapes to stock us up again, and a load of Inspiriting Plums to stock us up again, uh, and a load of Herbs of Clam. <laughs> Oh my god, um, Primrose is ending, um, goes up against someone called Simeon, and, uh, said individual has an ability, has several abilities. One ability is like a, 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 a like a high damage single target ability that also puts the silence condition on them. Um, uh, one ability that he uses after every single break silences your whole party. Uh, and uh, and his his allies also have silencing abilities, so you, you end up like I spent a third of the maximum number of anti silence items just getting through that one fucking fight, and it's split into two parts. It was, yeah, it was uh, it was painful. Was that okay? Right. What? Well, how are we doing with axes? Have we got a better axe than a two thirty? I think we do. That's, yeah, that's already better. Don't, we don't need the adamantine hatchet. We already got a better one. Hello to you. My father was a, was a merchant before me and traveled his fair share. Even said he saw a dragon near here once. Okay, sure. 
a travelling merchant who makes a habit of learning stories wherever she goes, that she might share them with the children of the orphanage in her hometown. Okay, so we've got knowledge of the Dragon of the Cliff Lamp. Okay, cool, that's obviously part of another side quest. Uh, just gonna steal your stuff. Don't worry about it. Anything interesting in here? Ooh, another chest. Oh my god. All this free loot just lying around. Beautiful. Okay, so... Uh, there's a free hidden item over here. We'll head to the tavern in a second. I'm just going to talk to people up here before I... How far are they? Oh, the Ogre Eagle nests. Ogre Eagle. Jeez, that sounds terrifying. Uh, nests in the forest of Rube, uh, just northwest of here. The feathers might be beautiful, but they're still deadly creatures, so you do well to keep your distance. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. A man born and raised in the village, born and raised in the playground where he spent most of his days, uh, who works as a mender of buildings and tools. Though he lacks the formal training of a carpenter, since most, most of the younger generations choose to leave the village when they can, it falls to people like him to remain and do which that no one else is willing to do. Okay. Got anything interesting? Give me your stuff! Oh, you do. Yeah. Yeah! Give me the stuff. Huh. Lazy loafer. For the last three days now, that merchant's been saying he's going to throw himself off the cliff. Jeez. I wish he'd get on with it or go home. <laughs> what? Uh, the, vacilla uh, the vacillating gets on my nerves. He's a pest, there's no two ways about it. Blimey, I wish someone would do something about him. Okay, are we meant to beat it out of him or something stupid? A layabout who detests all exertions to the point he hates having to expend effort to avoid expending effort. Unsurprisingly, he is unemployed. <laughs> oh. Uh, Japan's so fucking savage to unemployed people. Um, I don't know why we've got a load of lens flare directly on top of our character. Oh... What have you got? Poisons? Why have you got poisons? Weird. Hey. Okay. Hello. Don't come near me. I mean it. I was cheated in a trade. Left without a coffer to my name. So now I'm fain to throw myself off this cliff. Not fit to call myself a merchant. It's all over. Unless some golden opportunity falls into my lap, that is. I said don't come near me. Oh, <laughs> God. Sure. Let's tell him about the jalapeno. No. I can't even remember what this is. Apparently it's a golden opportunity. Just leave me be. I've got nothing left to live for. What's that you say? A golden opportunity? Wow, amazing. What a coincidence. I would hear it. I can't even remember what it is. Oh, so this jalapeno vegetable. Oh, it's oh, it's jalapenos. Oh, okay. <laughs> Finally understand what it's fucking talking about. Warms the belly and staves off the chill. The people of the frozen north have gone quite mad for it, you say? Really? Weird. Can this be true? Sure. For, it, for if it is, now is not the time for leaping off mountains. I mean, it's never the time for leaping off mountains, unless you can fly. In which case, leap off all the mountains you like. My luck's changing at last. I shall buy as much jalapeno as I can lay my hands on. <laughs> oh no. I don't I don't know if that's gonna work, mate. Like you uh you're coming in the, in the in at the end of a rush. Like, you gotta make the trades. You can't can't just try and ride Alright. I'm my traveling friend, I'm gonna bet everything I have left on my on this scheme. Um Okay. Well, you're not throwing yourself off a cliff. Thanks be to you. Probably better, right? Right? Right. What the fuck? How does he have 11,000 leaves and also nothing left? Is Does he have nothing left because he keeps on giving it to random adventurers? I think that's it. I warrant he never intended to jump off that mountain in the first place. They're frightful things when you think about it. There's towering piles of rock, I mean. Sh sure? Yeah, I mean, I guess. But you're not even that strong. You're useless, you lazy loafer. Useless! Oh. My luck's changing at last. I'm buying as much jalapeno as I can lay my hands on. Mate, you just went down some stairs. 
What a fool I was to think I could run from my problems so easily. Sure. When all was lost, this merchant who once thought himself beyond redemption received words of wisdom from a kind traveller. Hello! Duly inspired, he pulled himself up and stepped forth with hope in his heart for a better tomorrow. Sure. Uh, what have you got? Ooh, a large olive of life. Nice! Fucking stealing that. That brings you back with 9999 health. Alright, tavern. Alphen story. <laughs> a flagon of your strongest, my good man. Something eating away at you, friend. <laughs> Shucks, is it that obvious? Well, might as well be written on your face. Sorry about that. Eh, it's nothing. Uh, just a, a lost love, one I'm already in the middle of forgetting. Hmm. Ah, if you're trying to win me over, you're gonna have to try harder than that. Oh, Alfin, he's such a fucking charmer. Whoa. And there she goes. <laughs> Lying isn't your strong suit, is it? Hmm. So I'm not the only one who needed a stiff one. Long day? Uh. <laughs> Heed my words, boy. Tell too many lies, even the little white ones, and one day you'll forget what the truth is. You don't say. Heh. <laughs> Thanks for the diagnosis. <sighs> I saw the medicine you gave the villagers back there. Sloppier than before, almost as if your heart wasn't in it. Oh? Nothing gets past you, does it? To tell the truth, all this time I've been thinking. Who, what, am I really doing this for? These days, I just don't know. I can't find an answer. Nor I, and I'll wager I've been searching for a fair bit longer. Hmm. Eh, you don't say. Huh? Hey, is it me, or are you- or are your hands shaking? I'm afraid the answer is no. I think you've had one ale too many. Hmm. How's the Klingon Empire book? Is it any good? We're both exhausted, I'm sure. Get a good night's sleep. <laughs> right. There are no answers. Not for me. I'm a lone wolf. A man on the edge. Hey, yo. Alfin! Alfin! Oh? This looks dangerous. Uh, hey there, what can I do you for? Well... Me fever. It's getting worse by the hour. Oh. Hogan was taking care of you, wasn't he? Could he have botched the dose? <laughs> Perish the thought. Why, uh, Sir Hogan's a thousand times the apothecary you'll ever be. Damn. The hells? <laughs> Why, you, if you're so gust God's darn fond of that old grump... <laughs> I jest, I jest, please, sir. I beg your help. Master Ogan's too worn too thin to impose. What? Worn thin? Huh. Why, just today he must have dropped his tools some twenty odd times. Later he started coughing something terrible and then he just wandered away. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. The fact is. What with all the patients he's been seeing, no wonder he's tired and all. Hmm. Hmm. Man's sick. Man's dying. He's dying. Melissa, please, please forgive me. Go. Hmm. Always the same dream. Hmm. Cough, 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 cough. Off. 
Ooh. Ooh, he's he's man's bleeding. Hmm. No rest for the weary. My patience are waiting. I should walk around town and see if anyone else needs my help. Cool. Ooh, travel banter. <laughs> I must say, Alpha, you seem to be enjoying yourself at the ale house yesterday. Ah, yeah, me and me get along just fine. I could tell the number of times I had to fill your mug. You should thank me, you know. Ah, I suppose I should. But you could have poured Ogan a drink from time to time too. The man seemed to prefer his own company. Ah, don't worry, he's just an old grump anyway. I figured he'd cheer up quick if you showed him a dance or two. <laughs> That's not what you should be saying to Primrose, bro. Hmm? There's real magic in the way you move on stage. It'd brighten anyone's day. A smooth talker, are we? Hey, it ain't just talk, I'm telling you. I bet even Ogun won't be able to tear his white eyes away. Huh, <laughs> maybe I will pour him a drink next. I ship them. Primrose and Alfin. He's he's a he's a sort of honest, loyal, stoic, uh, and uh, friendly sort of chap um, who wouldn't betray Primrose and would probably be able to probably be able to deal with her trauma and her uh, inability to trust anybody easily. Uh, whilst she's a sincere but um, uh, intelligent person who knows the ways of the world, I think I think they'd fit each other just fine. I uh, I should. Uh, oh. Go across a bridge. Hmm. Is that Ogan? You're too kind. You saved my life, Traveller. How can I ever repay you? Just doing my job. And with that, I'll be on my way. Not You're so not fast, right? old man. You. Again. What's the matter? What's this I hear about you dropping your tools and hacking all over your patients? <laughs> no one for tact, are you? No. What's the matter? Got a bad case of the runs? Right, the answer is no. Even if I did, it'd be none of your concern. I mean, that's fair. Like. <laughs> Alfred's just like randomly walks up to Ogun. You got diarrhea, Ogun? Have you? Have you? And we're like, what the fuck, bro? Come on now. Right, right, whatever. Why don't I just take a quick look? That'll do. Why don't you just mind your own business? <laughs> Come on, old man. Believe it or not, I'm worried about you. <laughs> How touching. But look, I know my body as well as. Well, that was conveniently timed. Good grief! You're getting a checkup whether you like it or not. Keep your bloody hands off me. Told you, I'm perfectly aware of what's happening to my... Packing up blood? Yeah? Huh? So you knew you were about to hawk up all that blood, eh? <laughs> Such a fucking grouchy old stubborn bastard. You're sicker than a dog, and I'd be one sorry apothecary to let you walk away untreated. Now be a good patient, here. Ah. Ah. Go ahead and treat me then, if you can. Son of a... Still don't trust me. Hells and Tarnation. Ooh, this is a new theme. Holy. You're falling apart inside and out. Your forehead's nigh on fire. What in the blazes is this horrible purple rash? The miracle, you're even standing. How could you let yourself get into this state? Don't you get it? If you don't treat this, you're going to die. Tell me something I don't know. What the? 
If you knew, then why? It's none of your concern. Even if I told you, what would you be able to do about it? Nothing. That's what. I'll be on my way. Forget about me, Alpha. For both our sakes. Hell no! Be spreading it to the patients, for all we know. No forgetfulness here. Someone around here must know something about Ogre. Okay, we're inquiring. Inquiry! Already inquired. Are you? Yep. Nobody in the tavern to inquire to, but there is a chest. Oh wow, a whole 68 leaves. Amazing. What a, what a giant number of cash. I bet it's that one villager that we couldn't inquire previously of. I, I'd be willing to bet you a billion lee. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Of course it is. Don't even mention food to me. I've no appetite. Ogun's mutterings. Okay. Ogun was muttering the name Melissa. Maybe mentioning that will get the old man talking. Okay, sure. Where is the old man? Where'd he go? No, oh, but seriously, where did he go? <laughs> uh, tavern? Nope. Is he in the... Sick house? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't see him. Uh, okay. He's not down here. No. Oh, we just have to go around here. He's in the inn. Uh, Melissa, damn it. How do you know her name? I told you the story of how I came to choose my patients, yes? You told me you lost your dear wife. That she was murdered in cold blood by a man whose life you saved. Aye. Aye. The story doesn't end there. <sighs> mm -hmm. After that, I set off on a journey. I had no hopes, no aspirations. I just wanted to help someone, anyone, in any way I could. Anything to do Melissa proud. But... It wasn't to be. One day in a far-flung village, I found him. The man who murdered my beloved. Oh. He had a family of his own. A wife, a boy of some five summers. I saw them together smiling and laughing. Something broke inside of me. I waited till nightfall and snuck up on the man when he was alone. Oh no. Oh no and left him in the same shape I left my dear Melissa. You can't be. It was a strange feeling, though saving his life took days, ending it took but an instant. Human life's a fleeting and fragile thing, eh? I fled from the village as fast and far as I could. From there, I continued my journey as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? None of these people knew the man who saved their lives stole another. I can't bear to think of the pain and suffering I inflicted on the man's family. So I don't. Well, that's easy. <laughs> Just don't think about it. <laughs> uh, but every day I ask myself, what right do I have to play God with these blood-stained hands? Time and again, I thought of ending my own life. I'm too much of a coward to do the deed. How many years has it been now? In my travels, my body has come to be ravaged by every plague and pestilence our realm has ever known. Never once have I thought of treating myself. I'm a murderer. Sinner. Mine is a life not worth saving. 
Fucking hell, the levels of self-hatred are off the charts. Do you see now, Arthur? This is the answer I found. I'm feeling a bit tired. Pray, leave me to rest for a while. We're gonna help him, right? We're gonna help him. We've gotta help him. That stubborn bastard. Read. Ain't there nothing in here that'll help at a time like this? Oh, what a mess. Been too busy to clean it out all this time. Best feelings. Hogan is determined to die. That's the answer he's come to. After a long and harrowing journey. What right do I have to think I know better? Besides, what could I do for him anyhow? I barely managed to get by as it is. How do I even go about fixing a busted soul? That's uh, definitely a question. I'm just one man. One small, insignificant man. Damn it all. To my dear friend, Alfin. When you find this letter, no doubt you'll be off in some far-flung village somewhere. I was more than happy to urge you on in your journey, but truth be told, I was just a bit worried about you. Worried that along the way, you'd find someone and take on all their pain and suffering as your own. Always had a sensitive streak after all. But should you ever find yourself losing the courage of your convictions, remember what we learned together. Zeph. Zeph's his uh, childhood friend who also learned to be an apothecary, who he saved the sister of in chapter one. about thinking about oh. his friend they traded satchels world hello I've always admired your selflessness in helping others you think nothing of yourself in that sense you're the best apothecary and the best friend anyone could ask for. Oh. You have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. What a good friend. So go out there, Alf, and do what you feel is right. With your heart at ease and your head held high. Yeah. Calm hearts, clear minds, can't lose. Or something like that. P.S. This is far too embarrassing to say in person. <laughs> so I'll just hide this letter underneath all your stuff. That idiot. Just reading that, my face is as red as a beet. Oh. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I really got myself worked up over nothing, didn't I? I know what I need to do, and gods be damned if anyone will keep me from doing it. Yeah! Ain't that right, Seth? I'll show everyone what I believe in. Kick him in the heart! 
Alfin's story is very wholesome. Some some of their stories are quite dark. Like Primrose's story is a, like a tale of revenge and murder that's worthy of Batman. Um, but um, Alfin is Alfin's very very wholesome. Uh, he he hasn't had a he hasn't like th there have been darkness around him, but he he's a very sort of wholesome kid. And you too, Ogin. Just you wait. We're gonna cure all the plagues. All right, travel banter. Well, I'll be damned. Well, you're looking more chipper. Huh? You were moping around like a stick in the mud for a while there. Is that right? Guess we can put that down to the encouragement of an old pal. Old pal? Yeah, I found a letter tucked away in my satchel. You'd think that after all these years he could just say it to my face. Well, it sounds like you got yourself a good friend. Ha, ah, you got that right. Would you trust this friend of yours forever? No matter what? Darn right I would. Even if he betrayed you? Yep, because if he did betray me, it'd be because he didn't have any other choice. <laughs> like his little sister begged him to steal my sleepweed with tears in her eyes or something like that. Folk make mistakes sometimes. No point in throwing away a whole friendship over it. Huh, you're a bigger man than I gave you credit for. Ooh, Therian. Therian's backstory is that he was betrayed by his best friend at a young age. <laughs> so, uh, if we, I don't know if we'll get to him today. Um, he's he's the next story to finish, um, but uh, his story is much darker, being a thief. Um, but at the same time, he is quite he's he's quite sort of like I want to believe in trust again, but I can't let myself get hurt again. Um, you're like, oh, Therian, you can you can learn to love again, Therian. It's okay. You can have friends. It, friends are friendships, magic, and things to believe in, etc. Positivity away. All right, Ogan. The fuck are you, old man? I'm gonna help you whether you like it or not. Hmm. Sorry, old man. I'm here, whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh, literally what he just says. Elfin, how many times must I say it? Just leave me here and go on your way. No, fuck off, we're helping you. Oh, enough. Huh? Quit your belly aching and lie down before I have to knock you over. Yeah, it's my favorite theme in the game. Determination. Taking the capture. <laughs> God's name are you? So you're a stinking murderer. A sinner, huh? Great. Like I give a damn. Yeah! It ain't my job to choose who lives and who dies. I ain't no god. Yeah! If it's in my power to help a body, I'll be damned if that ain't what I'm gonna do. Fucking tell him. That's why I became an apothecary. That's what I believe in. Yeah! There. That should keep you breathing for now. Just what do you plan to do next? Ain't it obvious? I'm gonna fix you. Fuck yeah! And not just your body. All of you. Gonna fix your brain. Gonna fix your teeth. Gonna fix your toes. I'm gonna whip up an elixir that'll have you feeling like a new man. I... I identify with Alfin on many levels. He's a good boy. If... if Just all of us could only be so... even be half as wholesome as Alfin, the world would be a better place. So 
Don't make me Don't laugh. make me laugh. Me, 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 me. We're fixing you, old man. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? We're gonna go be a boss just to fix you. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, I dashed out there like a man on a mission. But heck, have I got a faintest idea of what to do next? Yes. Yes. I ain't never seen the like of those symptoms. Should you ever find yourself losing the courage of your convictions, remember what we learned together. Come to think of it. One time when Zeph and I were studying together. Alfin. Say, Alf. Remember when we were small and you got real sick? We feared you were going to die. Slowly but steadily, your body cramped up until you couldn't even hold a spoon. And those terrible purple blotches, I could hardly bear to look at you. I've been trying to replicate the elixir that cured you, uh, but to no avail. A traveler who saved you was really something else. <laughs> Too bad we weren't of a mind to ask for the recipe by then, huh? Too bad, huh? Purple blotches. We've had the same disease. <laughs> Sometimes, Zeph, so much for remembering. Hmm. Wait a minute. Didn't hold a spoon? Hasn't Ogun been dropping his tools? And purple blotches. I can't believe it, but... No, it couldn't be. It's too much of a coincidence. Or is it? Ogun has the same disease that I had. That means there's a cure. The same cure that saved my life. <sighs> think, Alfin, think. How did he make the medicine? Ah, who am I kidding? I can't even remember my own symptoms until now. Must be in here somewhere. Lipsis. Drink coffee. Think more. Great. Yeah, that should do it. You're a lucky boy, Huffman. The disease had all but taken over. You had a day or two at best. That I just happened to come along when I did, with this potion in hand. <laughs> Fate works in mysterious ways. How long did I labor to brew this elixir? And from ingredients I may, have, may never see again. Tell the truth, it was meant for another. But that hardly matters now. If it saves your life, it will have more than served its purpose. Sleep tight, son. You'll be feeling better on the morrow. Oh, we're in a memory sequence. We can inquire. Can we leave? <laughs> we can't leave. <laughs> Come now, Alfin, what did I just tell you? Rest, rest is the best medicine, you know. Oh. That's back to bed with you. No, 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 we wanna, we wanna, okay, we need to inquire. It's the only, only way we can do this. All right, press Y. A traveling pocket theory. At least I think that's what he said. Age 24. 24? Wow. 
very young. He goes around the world helping people who are hurt or sick like me. Shucks, I hope I can do that too someday. Elixir recipe. Do we have a... We looked at the elixir. Ah, still awake, are we? Hmm? What's in the potion you have? <laughs> you weren't jesting when you said you wanted to be an apothecary, were you? Well, very well. Who am I to refuse such an inquisitive young man? The uh, elixir was brewed from the feather of an ogre eagle. Oh, how very convenient. There's a whole forest of them nearby. Ugh, a fearsome beast. <laughs> Whose wings span so wide they could block out the sun. They terrorize the skies above the, above, above the forest of Rube, not far from Orwell. A boy like you would be wise not to wander there, lest you get snatched up and spirited away above the clouds. I wonder if we have to go fight an ogre eagle. Hmm. Damned if I know how, but I remember now. All I need is the feather of an ogre eagle. And some sleep. <laughs> and the flame take me of the forest of Rubade ain't just outside town. You saved my life again, stranger. Let's go. Hang in there, Ogre. I'm going to fix you up as good as new. Rabble banter. Woo! So thou owest this man a debt. Yeah, he's the whole reason I became an apothecary. I see. So he is like a master to thee. You have a master too, right? What's he to you? Well, he raised me like a father. He is the hunter I strive to be. Ah, a role model. Yeah, that's how I think about my master too. I reckon if we both work hard enough, we could end up even better than our masters someday. Better? I, I had not imagined such a thing even possible. Why not? If you're trying to be as good as someone, you might as well strive to be better. And you can stand in front of them, all proud-like, and tell him, now the student has become the master. It's a Star Wars reference! <laughs> and it's all thanks to you. Not bad, right? Indeed. Thou speakest wisdom. Let us striven together. And that's the spirit. Yeah! Did I stay up too late last night? Yeah! Of course I did. But that's okay. Uh, Alright, cool. What have we got to do? Forest. Out of town. Fight an ogre eagle. Don't die. All of these things. Ooh, treasure. Deal treasure. Save game. More treasure. Ooh, 20,000 leaves. Not bad. Giant Rhino. More bad. This isn't actually an ideal place for my cam, so let's put us down here. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. So we got six of five shields, huh? All right, cool. cool. Start off with a Night Ode. Against this bloody Rhino. Nope, they're not weak to dark. All right. Fair enough. How about a trade tempest? Nope. Oh, I didn't get lucky. Ooh, it's gathering. Gathering its strength. How about a firestorm? My god. Mostly physical weaknesses then, I'm guessing. Alright, how about a load of arrows? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Ow, my face! God damn! Alright. Are you weak to daggers? No, you're not. How about swords? 
Well, not if I miss. But it might be weak to swords for all we know. Um, Blizzard! Blow them away. Okay, one of them is weak to water. Yeah, that's good to know. Uh, we're just going to chuck a heal down. We took a lot of damage from Big Rhino. Quite big money, but Big Rhino. Um, hmm, well, if you're weak to... Uh, you're not weak to daggers. Well, we don't know if other chap is weak to daggers. Uh, Mr. Spider over here. Woolly Spider. So let's find out. Nope. <laughs> oh. Okay. You're asleep. It's not ideal. Yeah, we got another turn. We can re we can rehabilitate. Uh, Therion, wake up. Take some drugs. Uh, let's try swords again. Ah, they are weak to swords. Okay. Are you weak to a blast of light from the heavens? No. Okay. It is a very huge spider. He's a big boy. He's a big woolly spider. Blow them away! Don't worry, it's gonna die soon. Or at least it, it will when I when I work out its weaknesses anyway. Um don't know, don't know what it is actually weak to yet. <laughs> uh well, fuck. Uh not weak to swords. Not weak to arrows, not daggers. Spears? Nope. What the hell is it weak to? Oh god, Primrose is down. Uh okay. That's That's not ideal. Um. Yeah, we gotta knock this rhino out first. Oh, and kill it. Nice. Okay, spider uses a uses a mass attack ability. Thanks, thanks, spider boy. Uh, okay. Well, let's wake everybody up. Try this. Jeez. Big hits. Um, I tried burning it with fire. It's not. It's not weak to fire. <laughs> it must be lightning. I haven't tried lightning yet. Um, heal everybody. Soporific claw has put my healer to sleep. That's very unhelpful. Uh, yeah, let's try a max Thunderbird. Well, it might be weak to it. I don't know. It's dead. <laughs> that was a surprisingly tricky fight. I guess I'd never fought them before. Um, pop some grapes. Well, we kind of know what it's weak to now, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna try lightning next time and hope. Um, okay, cool. Right. Let's go in the forest. Surely there wouldn't be more spiders in the forest. He says. Knowing full well there probably will be. Uh, okay. Ooh, a pomegranate. Nice. I'll make this quick. Oh, we use lightning. Fire didn't work. I don't know what you're talking about telling me so. Fire, fire's not what they're weak to. You see, they're weak to lightning. Not the same thing. Uh, what are you? You're a weird bird-faced thing. Are you weak to being stabbed in the face, Dreadwing? No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not weak. Okay. Oh, there's another big spider. Hello, friend. He shots. Hey, the wing thing's weak to arrows. That's unusual. It's not unusual. Um, hmm. Well, I know the spider's not weak to it, but maybe you're weak to dark. Nope. Here we go. Alright. We know what it's weak to now. It can bleed. We can break its shields. Oh, they're both weak to lightning. Oh, that's very convenient. Here we go. Uh, lightning! I suppose we have tried staves? Uh, tried spears. 
tried bows. I don't think. I think. I don't think Therian has anything it's weak to. So you know what? Just so it doesn't hit us again, because I reckon it'll take someone out if it does. Uh, where's my Thunder Soul Stone? There you are. Pop. Take this. Lightning bomb. Alright, now it's time for you to die. Um Guess we'll chuck another arrow storm on them. Charge up full boost. I am ready. Pop a heal. Let yourself be healed. Out of my way. Alright, bro. Abe is reckoning in time. Fuck him up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Where's the nearest tavern? Slice him up. Oh, so close to a level up. Literally two XP. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. Can we go down there? No, we can't. All right. Into the forest. You were leveled quite recently. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ooh, an inferno amulet. Nice. Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. Let's go get the treasure. A wind soul stone. Neat. And another save point, and a fight. Look, just like we've started, just like we started book five, like, um, ages ago, your leveling was ages ago, sure. Um, hmm. Fuck a deer gonna be weak to. Spears, maybe? Nope. Gathering that strength. Night Devil deer. Bring your deer. Oh, they're weak to dark. Hey. Presumably weak to arrows. Nope. Deer not weak to arrows. News at 11. Fucking weird. Hailstorm's gonna hurt. Ow. Ow. Stop mass attacking me. Okay. Deer's gonna get a hit in. Here we go. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, well, knock out the Blow Gale Storm. The deer are clearly the threat in this fight. Um. Give it a try. Oh my god, Therian, that was useless. What the hell, bro? What the hell? Oh, not weak to swords either. I am ready. Now my grasp of reality is unparalleled, I'll have you know. Uh, okay. How about a load of s No, we know they're not weak to spears. We know they're not weak to swords, they're not weak to arrows. Axes again, I guess? Everything's weak to axes here. Do we have any axe beasts? We don't. Ugh. Alright, fine. Um, We'll just get them shielded. Drifendi's Rage, do it! I didn't kill them. Okay, these are beefy boys. Uh, how about, how about wind? How do you feel about wind? Oh my god, they're weak to wind! What?! Oh shit! Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. You could do that. What the fuck are these deer? These are like the. These are like the fucking maximum enemy deer. <laughs> they just swept two people. Ow! <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna spend some time getting everybody back up, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, heal again. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. We're using another sweep. Which it did. The fuck? The fuck are these de- <laughs> Okay, I'm- I don't have much choice. I think I'm gonna have to burn a high level olive of life on this fight. What? Okay, fine, whatever. Try this. this is kind of ridiculous. I guess the gather strength probably is helping. Well, let's try fire. Scorch the earth. Alphan's gonna go down again probably. But Primrose is on 9,900, well, 8,890 hit points now. So if she goes down, like, I don't, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. Heal yourself. Okay, this is this is a loop. They've caught me in a loop. Um, uh, if I summon my summon, she has a triple attack dark move. But theoretically speaking, if we get lucky, can break all of their shields and give us some turns. You gonna use it? No, she's gonna use lightning storm. She's gonna kill them. Oh wow, they were really close to death. Okay, well. Okay, that was that was a weird encounter. I don't think I've ever fought so tough deer. What, what, what drugs were those deer on? Like, huh? <laughs> okay, sure. Well, we 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 did it. Uh, <laughs> How strange. We know what the deer are weak to now, so next fight should be should be a lot easier. And we are around the level. We are around the level of this place. Let's just quickly save, eh? Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's okay. Uh, we can just use a bit of healing. And get our SP back. Now that we know what they're weak to, they'll be a lot easier to fight. Go this way first. There's a chest over there. Maybe we need to level up a bit more before the Ogre Eagle. If this, if the kind of fights I'm fighting right now are uh, representative of the boss fight, ooh, oh dear, that'd be, <laughs> that could be quite bad. Uh, we might die. Ooh, can I go down here? Yes, yes I can. I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Gonna die, time for the grind. Nah, I'll be fine. Be fine. More Devil Deer, yay! Yay! <laughs> Alright, we know what they're weak to this time, though. They're gonna gather strength. Don't know what the bird's gonna do. Focus, okay. Fine. Fine, it's all good. We got this. Yeah, no, they're down to two shields already. Ready. Now we pop them down to one shield. Bring your Drop a bunch of arrows on everybody. No, they're, they're actually called Devil Deer. That's actually their name. <laughs> Death. Death is the worst. They're all confused. It's all good. All good. Don't even worry about it. And now we're going to pop their last shield. Boom. The eagle's going to get a turn, but what, what damage could a focused eagle do? 562. Pathetic. It's fine. I'm ready. Naito. 
Bring your shade. They just caught me off guard a bit. Hmm. All right, cool. Let's get rid of them. Special moves. There we go. Fuck off, dear. Fuck off. Okay. Eagle, eagle, very strong. That's okay. Maximized blizzard. Not what it's weak to. Try again. There we go. See, that's what should have happened the first time. Um, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, fuck. I didn't mean to go through to the next area. There's still a chest back there. Which we will go get before we go on. I was hoping I could go around. Sometimes the terrain makes you think you can go around places when actually it's like a progression to the next area or like a... How do I get that chest? Is it up here? No. There is a chest up there. Okay. I'll take it. This is the beginning. Two right. eagles. Okay, we got to get rid of these All fucking right. eagles. Uh, we know they're not weak to lightning, but the deer is, so we're going to hit them with lightning anyway. I bet they're weak to staves or something weird. Uh, okay, we tried swords. Let's try a spear. Aha! They're weak to spears. What chumps. Prepare to die, chumps. There we go. Yo, Captain Warburton's, how you doing? How's your day been? I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking stab him. Get wrecked, son. There we go. Naito is gonna bring the shade. Boom. I'm gonna drop a lightning blast on these fools. And now that we know that they're weak to spears, we're going to throw a thousand spears! Each Japanese lessons. Nice. How's that going? Ow, that Gale Storm. That Gale Storm hurt. Won't lie. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Because we could get revenge with Drefendi's Revenge. Guided air to air to air to air to ground missile move. <laughs> Tap him. Ah, uh. oh, we're off to kill an ogre eagle. Uh, we're uh, gonna do it. Definitely not gonna die to no deer. That's definitely not a thing that almost just happened. Nope. No siree. Because if that had happened, that would suggest that we were in over our heads or something. That's definitely not true. Kill it, you need one feather. Murder it to death. Got an axe for a reason, Magna Mama. That's what we're doing. Uh, chest. Plug it from the tail, this is, this is not a JRPG. It literally is a JRPG. <laughs> literally exactly what it is okay does this go through to the okay so this goes to through to a different area all right so there's two there's two different areas we can go through thou against me then be hunting <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you mean uh no no nope <laughs> Not guilty. Not guilty, Your Honor. All I'm guilty of is murdering these eagles. The hunt begin. They think freedom. What I think is thousand spills. There we go. Deer hasn't even gathered strength. What a chump. 
Get hit by lightning blast, chunk. Eagles are a protected species in America. Well, in Astera, the continent it's on, they're about to go extinct. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's like strange, repeated lightning blasts are going to cause the extinction of these giant eagles. Very, very rapidly. It's going to be a crying shame. Everyone will be so sad. So very sad. Um... Uh... Spears! More spears. Stop, 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 stop. I'm ready. Naito, bring your shade. I'm surprised that, so, uh, quite a lot of the birds in this game are either vulnerable to wind or lightning, which, you know, makes sense. Um, but no, these ones, uh, these ones are apparently just vulnerable to spears. They're, they're quite strange. Um... As are the deers, for that matter. Deers, not really vulnerable to many physical attacks. Apparently mostly vulnerable to elemental attacks. Who knew? Not me. <laughs> not me when they were murdering me a moment ago. Uh, okay. Burning through our alcohol plums, but that's okay. Chest. Ooh, one whole herb of clarity. Wow, that, was, that wasn't worth it at all. What's down this forest path? She's ready. But Magna Mama, did you know that Hanit is ready? The hunt beginner. She's very ready for it. She's, ah, okay, so this is just a this is just a dead end with a treasure chest. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Go the other way around, I guess. I guess. Back her. Not like I wanted to get to the boss. Jeez. Did you know, uh, Captain Warburton's, uh, Magna Mama, uh, that Ulbricht's blade is unbending? And that he will wreak havoc upon thee? Very important. I'm actually running the- I'm actually running the path team today. Um, I- <laughs> Luke. <laughs> um... Because uh, I've actually finished Ulbricht's story. Um, once you finish the main character story, you can take them out of the party. So I am running the P-A-T-H team. Uh, Primrose, Alfin, Therian, and Hanet uh, this time, instead of running Ulbricht. Not that he's not a good boy. Ulbricht's an, an excellent boy. He's just very overleveled for the. <laughs> it's very wholesome. He's, he's, he's dedicated. Very determined. His blade will be unbending. That he will wreak havoc upon thee. Did you know that Cyrus's focus is unparalleled? Because it is unparalleled. They've they've all got different lines when they um uh, when they get to maximum boost, and they they always say them. <laughs> Either that or they just go. This is the beginning. Or yeah. Oh, we surprised him. Get wrecked, surprised motherfuckers! Yeah. Out of my way. <laughs> I don't know what he's focused on. Mostly, mostly magic, I think. Um, but it's unparalleled. Regardless of what he's focused on, it doesn't matter. Unparalleled. She is ready. Naito, bring the shade. Oh no, she just said "ha" ah, that time. I wasn't. That was, I wasn't as impressed. Um, arrows! Lots and lots of arrows. Oh no, Snakey Boy's got all the shields. Ah, get fucked. They missed! You suck! Goodbye, Devil Deer. Ow. Stop beating up Alfin. What's he ever done to you? Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Uh, are you weak to swords? No. The fuck are you weak to? Uh, Blizzard? Yes. They're weak to ice. There we go. She wasn't ready. No, no, she was. She was hundred percent ready. You're actually working right now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm working right now as well. <laughs> 
Alfin may not have done anything to them, but the things he did to that village, oh boy, it's true. I mean, I'm just saying, um, Alfin has already threatened uh, invalid patients with an axe, literally just to be like, look, sit down, or I am going to force you down so that I can heal you. You're being healed. We're going to help them whether they like it or not. Um, he's, he's very much on my page. Um, uh, I'm a, we're, we, we're a big, big Alfin fans here. Etten Snake. <gasps> Oh, they're weak to daggers. Interesting. Weird. Why? Some of the some of the elemental weaknesses make a lot of sense. Some of them make no sense at all. And I'm like, what? Why is this even a thing? Anyway, uh, ground to air missile. Go. The hunt ends. Fights are a lot easier when you have access to a ground to air missile. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, okay. Oh, that's why he looks so damaged, because he's got, like, bajillion health, because he's an apothecary. Right, 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 right. Right. I get it now. Can we go this way? No. How are we getting down to that chest? Down here? It looks like there's a path down there. But we can't access it. I don't remember which way I went. Is it this way? Where am I? What game is this? What day is it today? Oh, get wrecked! I'm surprised again. These absolute scrubs. I should have stunned the. Oh, that's fine. I can use I can use Darian to stun them. Um, I haven't tried spears against the snake. Let's try spears against the Atom. Oh. Staves then, I guess probably. Okay. Get stunned. Yeah. I am ready. She is ready. Bring your third day of the week on the third day of the month of the third month. Is it? Uh, I don't. Like it's March. March 2020, right? All right. Who, who's the president? Where are we? Uh, get wrecked! You're the president. <laughs> really, Captain Wolf? Right. Oh, congratulations! Um, what platform did you run on? <laughs> okay, uh, zappity doo da. That's what I call that spell, Zappity Let my arrow fly in true. I will cut them. She will cut them down. She won't cut them down. She's gonna cut them down. Gotta fucking watch out. Oh no. Terra? I hate Terra. It's awful. Why would you do this? Ugh. Ugh. Hey, this this uh this Etin snake is on my shit list, guys. Uh, fine, I guess I'll use an item to heal it. I mean, you're still gonna die, you're just making it a bit anno a bit annoying. Why, why would you do this? I say. <laughs> nice hat! <laughs> See, they're a, bit, they're a bit different, Jacinda. So, also, hello, thank you. I, I like my hat too. Um, it's a great hat, isn't it? Um, uh, covers up my balls. <laughs> All right, ground to air missile, go! Who knew in ground to air? Who knew in fantasy settings? Ground to air missiles were just the answer to everybody's problems. Just, just gotta deploy a Sam. That's 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 how you get through life. It's dragons, ground to air missile. Uh, giants, ground to air missile. Pesky villagers? You guessed it. <laughs> Ground to <my> missile. Ah, <laughs> uh, the hat's great. Oh, Magnamami, you're outnumbered, I'm afraid. It seems it seems that uh, the hat is in fact great, as I said. Ooh, treasure. Ooh, Imperial Armor. I think that shit's alright. That good shit? 
We looking at good armor? Crystal vest. Oh, it's not even that good anymore. Ugh. Although, actually, the ethereal dancer garb is better in, than the silent cape, so we better put that on. That's good. Imperial armor. Plus 173. Bleh. 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 Ooh, vendetta coat's pretty good, though. Um, what we got on you? Elemental heavy armor. Oh, uh, we. I guess we can't really... I want to give that to... Because uh, apothecaries get an ability that gets boosted damage from how much health damage they've taken. So boosting his health is a good idea. Um, sounds like Southerner nonsense. <laughs> look, 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 look here. Look here. <laughs> Cornwall, all right, is a great county. It's great. Get out of here with that. Thank you for your subscription, but also get out of here. <laughs> Uh, for nine months in a row. Oh, thanks, Josh. I appreciate you. Um, how you doing, bro? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, there's no dullards in chat. If you're in my chat, you're not a dullard. Sorry. Uh, you, you can't, you can't claim it. Oh, uh, it's more of a war between North and South here. Each one thinks the other are dumb. Look, we all know, we all know that wherever I am. That's that's the best, okay? If I've if I've lived there before, they're the best. If I live there now, they're the best. Everyone else, they're all the rest. Yep. That's there you go. I solved the problem. Fixed it. <laughs> I'm in the north at the moment, but I lived in the south. Therefore, they're all the best. Jobs are good. One. No one needs to argue anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sound, man. I'm pretty sound. It's been a been a weird couple of weeks um but uh but no it's it's been a pretty good week so far <laughs> touch wood <laughs> give it time i'm sure it'll be shit <laughs> uh whirlwind attack Ooh, that one's they're all weak to wind they're all weak to flatulence guys we're just gonna have to fart in their general direction uh to make sure that they die um, lots of arrows. Attack! <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, oh, she wasn't ready this time. Yeah, get them. Bring it on. Dance aggressively at them. Also blast them with lightning, but mostly, mostly it's the dancing aggressively. I love how the, the, the differentials between the team here is um, we have one person who's just like, I am going to dance at you and with the power of friendship and dance, I will I will make you feel bad about your life and maybe stab you occasionally. And the other guy's like, oh, I just, I, I don't know, I throw a couple of lightning bolts at people, you know, it's no big deal. The dance is the real hero. <laughs> Bards, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And now, I win one colossal fart. The devil deer are defeated. Yeah. All right, Primrose, dance your heart out at them. I mean, the dancing does involve like the powers of the unholy, you know, shredding their souls and stuff. I feel like that's mildly important. But only mild. Uh, okay. Um, uh, but now we're just gonna stab everybody. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Sweep! Don't start things you can't finish. Fucking get wrecked, son. <laughs> hey, they got level 50. Nice. We're definitely overleveled. Well, we'll be fine. We can take this. It'll be good. Pretty sure the boss arena's up next. So we're going up against whatever the fucking ogre eagle is. I kind of want it to be like half giant, half eagle. That would be... That would be pretty badass. I'm here for that. Um, oh, thank you, Captain Warburton's. Best of luck on the boss. I appreciate you. Um, I'm sure we're gonna die. <laughs> I mean, no, we'll be we'll be fine. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! 
please, I don't, I don't want to die. Uh, resist ailments. Um, we don't need grow on trees, so we'll grab hang tough. Uh, yeah, incidental attack. Cool. Yeah, you're all good. Oh, surpassing power and patience. Um, hmm. I don't care about heightened senses, so let's chuck surpassing power on there so we can do bajillion damage. Do we have enough job points to learn Brand Slender? <gasps> we do! Okay, all right, we got this. We got the best move in the game. Got fucking wreak havoc upon the, the move. Wholesome whimpering. What, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's very unwholesome whimpering, I'll have you know. <laughs> very just coward, cowardly, cringeworthy whimpering. <laughs> no wholesomeness here at all. Uh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Right, um, we're all set up. We're all set up. We got this. We got this. Ogre Eagle, Smoker Eagle. Got a, got, we got a, we got someone who dances at people aggressively. Yeah. Wait. That was a good sound. Oh, wow. What the fuck is that? Has it got two heads? <laughs> I think it's got two heads. Uh, it gads, but you're a big one. <laughs> Alfin. <laughs> he just says it with a straight face. You're a big one. Uh, but I know what I need, and I ain't leaving here with a <laughs> god outfit. Amazing. Oh no, it's just got one head. It's just weirdly shaped. The beast great wings forfend your attacks. It's a narwhal. Okay. Um, well, it's big. That's what it is. <laughs> hmm. Fucking murked Alfin on the first turn, which is, you know, uh, annoying. Um, but, uh, didn't inflict any conditions or anything. All right, we're going to start off with summoning an old woman. Old woman, I choose you. Old woman is actually quite powerful. As you can see from Darkness Tornado move that apparently old woman, apparent, you know, just casually, you find an old woman in this world. She's got Darkness Tornado as a move. Tenebrium Apare. It's fine. Um, uh, hmm. What do we think that um, eagle person will be weak to? Let's try swords. Well, they are weak to swords, but they've got it locked off. Okay, okay. Let's try uh, arrows. Okay, that's another locked off weakness. All right, sure. Can we freeze it in place? Blow them away. Ooh, that's not locked off. Okay, okay. Got two turns coming up. Don't have many ice moves with the people coming up, but we do have this wonderful thing called an ice soul stone. How many things we have of it? We have precisely two. Okay. Well, that's exactly how many we need, so, you know, let's just go ahead and use them. Um... Uh, I'm, I, all, all I'm saying is, uh, elderly women in this world apparently have the powers of darkness inside of them. Um, the ability to fucking wreck bosses and kick ass. Uh, they're pretty badass in this world. You just gotta, you gotta allure them with sexy young women. This is apparently, th this is the rules of this place. <laughs> they're very strange rules. Hey, you can go. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. <laughs> Can confirm. You also have the powers of darkness within you, uh, and you need to be alert with sexy young women. Okay, well, I'm not. No, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. You like that? Wow. <laughs> uh, run me through. Okay. <laughs> oh, and the powers of lightning storms as well. Coming. My God, what a badass. Uh, okay, we've not it, not it out, but it's only got one weakness at the moment, which is. A little frustrating. So, how about we buff Alfin with take aim? Never Up in our crits and our accuracy, <laughs> and then um, we're going to. I mean, here with more ice. I think probably we got a. 
I mean, Icicle's single target. Is there anything better we could do? Oh, we could poison it. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's let's set a poison up. Take your poison. Only two turns, but hey, it's damage. Oh, it didn't actually get poisoned. Well, Let it's not damage. Not damage at all. No damage. It wasn't poisoned. <laughs> but we can sort it. Sort it to the face. I have a yeah, that's what we're talking about. I am ready. Uh, she's ready. Oh, she's ready, you guys. Fucking ready. Uh, okay, Reflective Veil, Minute Waltz. Nah, let's just buff Alfin. Alfin's actually going to be really good in this fight. Um, ooh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. We are going to use Elfric's Auspices. Because what that does is it means that for three turns, skills performed by a single ally will trigger twice. So he's going to double Blizzard at maximum. Let's Elf, fucking do it. Bringer of the flame. Bringer of the flame. Get him, old woman. <laughs> um, nice, nice, nice. We'll fucking shank this narwhal. Time to steal the show. Oh, it's got a lot of hit points. Here we go. It's a big boy. All right, double blizzard. Here we go. And then... Blow them away. Oh! 16,000 to 20,000 damage in a turn. The beast is wounded. Yeah, I bet it's wounded. Oh, shit! Okay. Well, it's wounded, it's grown wary, and it's just like, I'm just gonna fucking sweep you. Uh, alright, alright, alright. So we got a poison, a blind, a sleep. And another poison. Um, okay. And everyone's debuffed. Not everyone's getting a turn. Hmm, it looks like it's a condition user. So, if Alfin hits it twice, he takes a poison hit. Um, Primrose isn't going to be able to hit it this turn because she's going to be healing. Hannah can hit it once. We're not going to be able to break its shields in a turn. Are we going to be able to break its shields in two turns? Uh, Therian can hit it twice. Yes, we are. Okay, so Alfin, Alfin, you're just going to have to take the poison, I'm afraid. We'll just overheal. It's all good. It's all good. It's not like this is where the run goes or anything. Don't even worry about it. Uh, her name is literally e Elderly Woman. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, she's ready. She's just ready. She's just ready forever. That's just her life now. Um, oh, fuck it. We'll use Lightning because Lightning's more fun. Actually, Elderly Woman might... Oh, no. Elderly Woman's retreated from battle. Oh, yeah. Alphen's got double... Oh, Alphen's got double hit. We're actually going to break shields this turn, maybe? Hmm. We can actually break them this turn. We don't need to heal. Neat. Because we can use a soul stone, because soul stones always hit. Um, and then we can use Panit, who's poisoned, which isn't an accuracy debuff, to deliver the last sword strike. You like that? Boom. She likes it. Now the question is, do you like it? Uh, and get wrecked, son. Watching my get. Watch it miss. No, no, it's all good. Okay, now we heal some conditions. <laughs> Jesus, Darian's asleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Um. Okay, okay. Uh, the blind isn't too bad for Primrose because. Primrose is primarily on healer duty anyway. She doesn't really need to hit. We can heal her when we need to. Um, the poisons we need to get rid of, and we need to get rid of the sleep because it's get it's losing us turns. So I think everybody heals themselves. No, we need to use someone else to heal Therian. So uh, wake up, Therian. There we go. Primrose needs to double heal. No, not Reflective Veil. That would that would fuck us. Because we need to deal with Sweep. 
it's Shut. gonna it's gonna use a mass sweep again, but we're a maximum hit points because it we broke its shields. Um, Alfin, go ahead and make yourself immune to conditions for two turns. There we go. <laughs> we double re rehabilitated ourselves. Great, useless. Um, okay, eight shields. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, that hurts so much. Oh, okay, that inflicted multiple conditions. Um, Therian's confused and blind. Wow, great. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> let's just let's just stop that right now. We're not going to be able to crack all these shields in one one round. Yeah, the the double hit was fine, but could have been better. Um, we're going to need you to heal again, Primrose. Yeah, that's all good. Panic, get rid of your own poison. I don't think it's going to mass sweep when it's not broken. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't do that. That would be a bit annoying. But I guess we can probably weather it. And you know, like, hey, okay, right. Right. Now the fight back. Um, come back, old woman. We need your power. Yeah. Fucking get him. She's like the best summon in the game. It's so stupid. Um, uh, arrows, swords. Well, uh, we, I want to save the boost points. We're just going to attack. I'm probably going to end up regretting that. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, so I was, I was like, oh, I'll save Therian's special move. You know, I'll just use it when we break his shields. And the, the, the creature's like, you'll do what now? And what? You what, mate? Um, all right, so it swept him away. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be either until we break shields or a limited turn timer, not until the end of the fight. That could be a bit annoying. Um... But it's weak to arrows now, so we should be able to sh break it this turn with good old what next? Rain of Arrows. Oh, I thought I was going to miss too many attacks then. Um, Primrose is confused. What are you going to do? Attack? What are you doing, Primrose? You crazy motherfucker. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Um... Oh no, we're running out of um, we're running out of SP. That's that's not great. That's not great. Uh, okay, well we'll analyze it this turn. Let's see how many hit points it's got left. All right, we're halfway through. <laughs> Fifty-four thousand left. Jesus Christ on a cracker. Um, we're gonna need a few more hit points, guys. A few more uh, SP, guys. I think. Uh, but that's okay because we've got a ground to air missile. Boom. All right, 50,000 hit points left. And Therian's oh. back. Great. Ooh, toxic rainbow. A rainbow colored toxic mist fills the air. The fuck is this? When, when Matthias did this, um, he used a different ability called Dark Flame's Curse that prevented us from using magic skills. It doesn't look like we're prevented from using any skills. I'm, I'm, I'm a little, little worried about this, but okay, all right, all right, let's, uh, let's fucking keep going. Um, Primrose, Primrose, you're gonna need to pump Alfin's, Alfin full of all the drugs in a second. Um, Therian could do with healing himself, but we got loads of turns. We got loads of turns. Loads of turns. Rain of arrows. Break on the shield. Okay, we broke three shields. That's not great. I am ready. Okay, doesn't seem to have done anything yet. So, I'm hoping it's just a, un maybe it's an invisible buff. Mm, well, whatever. Um, it's gonna hit me, and I'm gonna be like, it's what? <laughs> Okay, pump SP. Oh, I think old woman's run out of All SP. Right. Um, Alfin. Okay, Alfin. Let me think about this. Um, I want to 
put off Alf Alephan's Enlightenment, because that do basically does double damage to one single target at the expense of not being able to target multiple, which is great against bosses. But I need to be able to break it before its next period of attack. Okay, Therian hits once. Primrose hits once. Therian hits twice. Or Hanit breaks it. Yeah, it's all good. We've got time to buff. This fight feels like a final boss fight. Yeah, so th this is um, this is the final fight of Alfin's chapter. So this is like the the second to final boss in the game um, for for Alfin. Um, wow, Magnum. <laughs> all right, Ale Alfin's enlightenment. Do it. Lend us your wisdom. All right, uh, Therian. Oh wow, Therian could just break him now. Nearly. Uh, we'll do two attacks because we can do that without needing to boost. The cloud saps your lifeblood. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Okay, that's put us on a clock. So, what it looks like it's doing is. It's sapping our current and maximum hit points by like a percentage. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, all right. It's gonna be like that, huh? We have to kill you quickly, I guess. Uh, Therian hits once. And then Hanit just has to land a hit, but we'll do a rain of arrows. Every turn, I'm guessing. Oh, this is a clock. Can we do... Are we going to be able to do enough damage? I hope so. <laughs> um... We're doing about 5,000 a turn with Therian. It cut about 200 hit points then. It's probably percentile based. We should be okay. I think. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, we just need to... We need to fucking go all out. That's what we need to do. Um, speaking of going all out. Lots of dagger attacks. Time to steal the show. Okay. I'm ready. Primrose... Okay, we've got Elephant's Enlightenment. Now if we drop Elfric's Auspices as well, double maximum damage. Come on. Elfric, bringer of the flame. Bringer of the flame. Stack in the... Oh, Eld Lady! Yes! In with the Lightning Storm. Uh, Hanit needs a few more SP to do her maximum mobility. But we still want her to fucking murderize this turn. So, or maybe we save her boost points. Actually, we save her voice boost points to crack shields. That's probably gonna be better. So we'll. Uh, Lin just hit them. Oh wow, 108 damage. Good job, Lin. You're the best. Uh, all right, come on. Maximized, doubled. Elephant enlightenment. Elfric auspices. Lightning blast. Fucking record. Oh, 20,000 damage. Do another 20,000. Yeah! Yes! Power! Try again. Ticking clock my ass. That's what I'm motherfucking talking about. <laughs> Unlimited power. Oh, we didn't even kill it. Come on. Come on now. Sorry about that. <laughs> what do you mean, sorry? We just hit it with fucking bolts of lightning. <laughs> Alfin's too awesome for his own good. But this pinion of yours is going to save a man's life. Might be a little on fire, you know. All right. All righty, Ogun. Like it or not, here I come. Oh, my. It's me, Alfin. I'm back, old man. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <sighs> Can you keep it down? My head is throbbing something terrible. Oh my. Dude. 
Sorry about that. Anyway, time to get to work. You what? Man, you know, if we killed the- uh, Speaking as a vegan, I don't advocate it, but the Ogre Eagle is clearly not like an animal, and if its feathers are good enough to make like magical elixirs that can clear literally- click, uh, 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 whatchamacallit, cure literally any illness, if we'd killed that Ogre Eagle and just taken its- all of its wings, it's not the fairy tale resolution, but we'd have been able to make a lot more potions, is all I'm saying. Uh, you really believe you can save me? Ridiculous. How could you ever? <laughs> a man saved my life years ago. A man not so different from you, come to think about it. Hmm. Huh? Listen here, Ogan. I may call you an old man, but it's too soon for you to go. Yeah. Brony. People are suffering out there. Dying. There are plenty of lives you can still save. Maybe you're right. I once met a man who said the kinds of things you say. Hmm? He was an apothecary too. In my darkest hour, it was his words that stayed my hand. Despite having no hope, nothing to live for, he convinced me to press on. Who was he? What the heck could he have said to a mess like you? Flashback. Oh, it's the same guy! Of course Wait, it's the same guy. Look at your hands. Just two, and yet... They have the power to save innumerable lives. Live, Ogan. If not for yourself, for those who still need you. All around you, people are suffering, dying. There are plenty of lives you might yet save, if you have it in you to save them. Why? Why are you helping me? What's that? When someone's in a bind, you help them out. Simple as that, wouldn't you say? Taking a screen capture of that, just to post as a meme every now and then, you know? Uh... <laughs> I need Ogun, he needs to live for me. Don't worry, he's gonna live. And I need a kick of puffy to cleanse myself from this wholesomeness. Or you could let the wholesomeness flow through you and be a positive, happy person. No, no, I'm kidding. Go kick the puffies. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. <gasps> you kicked Those a puppy. His words to me. It's the damnedest thing, but somehow you remind me of him. Aww. Cat Sooks. <laughs> Alfin continues to be the best character with the best words. Those words. I heard them too when I was just a boy. You what? <laughs> you what, mate? <laughs> There's no doubt about it. That's the man who saved my life. What a coincidence. Thanks, mister. But why'd you save me? We ain't got no money, you know. Listen, son, and listen well. I saw someone in a bind, and I helped him out. Simple as that. Shucks. Shucks. I hope. 
hope I can do that too someday. Yeah. I'd never seen anyone like him before. His Shucks. Words, the miraculous potions he made. He didn't just save my life. He gave me a whole new sense of purpose. A whole new world. And so I became an apothecary. It truly does work in mysterious ways. Maybe you can help me. <laughs> Thank you for the bit. Tell me more about him, Ogan. I, I don't even know his name. Graham was his name. Graham Crossford. It was ten years ago that I met him. He was traveling the realm, as was I. He said he was searching for a remedy for his dear wife, who had been stricken with a deadly malady. His skill at mixing salves and brewing elixirs was like nothing I had ever seen. Travelled from town to town, healing the sick and wounded at every turn. Still managed to fashion the elixir he sought in two short years. But... It was too late. His beloved had already passed on, never to return told me the story of a bright young boy to whom he eventually gave the medicine. Oh, that'd be you. I think I'd meet that boy in the flesh one day. Huh. It is. Ogan isn't, but the, the guy that's been talking in the flashbacks, yeah. After he saved my life, he wandered off again to who knows where. Word has it, he later passed on to meet his love. So he's gone. <laughs> At any rate, it all makes sense now. Graham didn't choose his patients. He helped everyone he could, just like you. We didn't always see eye to eye, but I respected the man, and I'd like to think the free feeling was mutual. I see. Thinking back on it, talking with you was oddly familiar from the start. Your innocence, naivety, whatever you want to call it, it's like a mirror image of the man. Oh. <laughs> You're carrying on his legacy as well as any man could. Even if you are a sentimental sop. <laughs> oh, he's crying. <laughs> Takes one to know one, old man. Oh, they're both laughing. Well. Well, shucks. Thanks for everything. Alfin, you're too young. Don't throw yourself off. Got everything oh. to live for. You sure you're okay? Hi. Thanks to you, I'll live to see another day. For a couple nights there, I didn't think I'd make it. But it seems your brew won out in the end. You'll forgive me if I don't say thank you. This wasn't the fate I asked for. Ever. I will not forgive you. Thank me, you motherfucker. I fought a goddamn ogre eagle for you. <laughs> you will goddamn thank me. And you will like it. Gosh. Don't mention it. No. Mention it repeatedly. That grave. Did you make that? Just my way of paying tribute. Only wish I could have met him once more. <laughs> oh well, eh? Knowing him, I think he would have felt the same about you. Well, guess I'll be off then. And Alphen's theme. After all, there's still folks out there who need my help.
What about you, old man? Old man. What about me, indeed? Guess I'll keep on living, at least for now, and atone for my sins as I can. I imagine there are still people out there who need me as well. First, Graham. Now you. You help me remember what it means to be an apothecary. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, shucks. Guess that means I was right about something after all. <laughs> Be safe here. I reckon you won't get lost in your travels after this. And me neither, mind you. <laughs> if you say so. And then he got eaten by the ogre eagle. The end. It was an age when the medical arts were still in their infancy. With war and disease rampant, the sick and suffering depended on men and women who brewed remedies, wisdom and compassion. Men and women known as apothecaries. Oh, we came back. We came home. Hey, and there's the finishing art. Caring for grandmother. And that's Alvin's story finished. I only got two left: Therian and uh, Hannet. And then, uh, there's the optional boss rush, which I'll need to grind a heck of a lot for. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a trick. That was a relatively tricky fight. Um, I think, um, if, if, if we had had a different team composition, wearing down the Ogre Eagle would have taken longer and the Toxic Rainbow would have been nasty as fuck. But as it is... It wasn't, I don't think it was the hardest. Werner, um, Ulbricht's boss, Simeon, Primrose's boss, those were both, both tricky, pretty tricky. Um, uh, Alfin, Alfin is, uh, f fifth, sixth, sixth, sixth of the eight. Uh, I haven't done them all on stream. I figured I'd just do Alfin because, uh, uh, people were enjoying his story, so. But yeah. Um, uh, I might do, I might do, uh, some of the others on stream. Certainly, um, I'm gonna do, uh, when I do the boss rush, um, Galdera and the seven bosses before that, that's gonna be streamed, because it's gonna be hard. <laughs> I need a record of me doing it. Um, but for now, uh, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. Um, have a chill, happy evening. Don't die. Stay safe. Um, and uh, yeah, have a good day, good night, good evening, good afternoon, or a good morning, wherever you are. I will be back tomorrow uh, with Cataclysm, and then later on, probably some Bravely Default 2 um, in the evening uh, thereafter. And then on Friday, what am I doing on Friday? What am I doing on Friday? Probably more Bravely Default 2? Maybe some more Octopath? Some stuff! I'll do some stuff. Uh, but for now, bye!